global phenomenon. The World Health Organization estimates that 35% of women have experienced sexual violence. In fact, the WHO calls the issue rampant. But sometimes he would take his fingers and put it in my private bag. My foster mother soon sexually abused me at nine. When I drank the water he gave me, I became lost and helpless. He did what he wanted. He had sex with me and took my virginity. And then one thing led to another. He raped me. And so now we start to break the silence. We begin to tell our stories as slow and as painful and as anonymous as they are. Organization estimates that 30 Oso Boko Obama, T-bone steak, beef steak, round steak, ankle coat, lamb goat, lamb chops, liver, chawarma meat, yamunicha, amalen len cow food, amalen lahas, amalen nak lidi file, bakar gubes takalagani, pour yen kostomasi, don't len for gao. Direct ibi from Monday to Sunday, 7 days of the week. Monday to Saturday, nak nyu fasile ibi 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, nyu ibi le 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Buja, Sendawal Halal, Nagu Reumi, Kharu Reumi, Lenyi Jel, Dadi Len Koy, Defaral Bomubar, pour yer askanui. Central Buja, Daulen Gao Woutilen, Daulen Gao Setilen. Central Buja, Chebidjulo, Mungelen Wati, 303-8761, 303-8761, Walabog 258-9583, Kongai, Daulen Gao Legile, Central Buja, Pofu Kessel. Je ne sais pas si je suis un seul, je ne sais pas si je suis Don tout ça central bocha central bocha amna ñu ñaari makkan ñe nga ci kéraba avenue jakarlok africhel wante wa central bocha dañ leen ibil makkan gu bess central bocha nek Thank you.
Bismillah do moroka diate boy janno sikes restaurant e sai nako be ni na di mbale ni mba do moroka la janno do moro senata adiata topotoro fanan kende ma bigge luntan during tamala abeka do moroki janni adi manda wala de teka we bi jele ani mba nan ka fa di jang e kono e fa e ka fa min nako pastry ani bakery e ko fanan be kalele ba de lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fe ni lo dunia kono domoro betama ni lo international o tewda number 1 amanke ba do mala jam dama e sa do mo jam e sa atari ya a wo mu kuba ndi sa na ko sa futen din e o to sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant dama na jam na mu yat ni man je do mbi jam aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology. We offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. All right. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms or our story buildings. Three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup systems. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties.
I Abdul Karim Ja. I Abdul Karim Ja. I Abdul Karim Ja. I Abdul Karim Ja. Do swear that. Do swear that. I speak the truth. I speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Mr. Yam. Good morning, Ma. Mr. Yam, welcome to the TRRC. Thank you. And thank you for your willingness to come and testify today. You have opted to speak in the English language. But for the benefit of the audience who are watching, 
We shall be doing an interpretation in Wallop. Because of that, I shall plead with you to give a few seconds between my questions and your answer so that the interpretations will be able to interpret. For today, we shall be going through the following issues having reviewed your statement before this commission. You shall tell us about your arrest. You shall talk about your detention at my two central prisons. You shall tell us about the encounter that you had at the NIA headquarters. Your alleged involvement in the 2006 coup. It is commonly referred to as the Ndur Chamku. You shall tell us about your arraignment before a court of law. And subsequently your release from prison. And then you shall tell us the ordeal this effect had on you and your family. Are you comfortable and ready to proceed this morning? Well, can you tell the commission your names? My name is Abdul Karim Ja. My name is Abdul Karim Ja. Mr. Ja, where do you live? Mr. Ja, I live in Kololi. My name is Abdul Karim Ja. Can you give us your date of birth? My name is Abdul Karim Ja. Can you give us your date of birth? My name is Abdul Karim Ja. I was born on the 13th of January 1963. Please, can you give this commission a background about yourself? Yes, I, I joined primary school in Sukuta Primary School. In 1972. After going through up to primary six. I sat for the common entrance and I went to Sukuta Secondary School. I spent four years at Sukuta Secondary School and my schooling in 1982. After 1982, when I finished school, I school. I applied at the corporate union and I was employed as a summary clerk. And I was posted at Jaffa Secondary School. And I was posted at Jaffa Secondary School. And I was posted at And I was posted at Jaffa Secondary School. And I was posted at Jaffa Secondary School. And I was posted at Jaffa Secondary School. Uh, which starts around November to post January. It's four months. Can you tell the commission what you did next? Once in Japan, I heard from the Gambia announcement that they were going to select form an um, Gambia army. And uh, because of my performance as a Somali clerk, he wanted me to be a secretary the next year, the following year. But when I had the announcement and uh, I was job. Why not? Mama dey gey ye bani bi. Dama bubo ndi gey bo hamne ndi gey bo sahla. Abne kuli ba dog dogal. That the Gambia was the this recruitment was at two places, one in Bakau and one in Farafeni. Mende ganak ne denyo gey ndi gey ay soldar. Tachi nyari beri ple nyo wara ne kabe na bi munga wara ne kabe Bakau be na bi ne kabe Farafeni. Then I decided to come down. I told. Sorry. 
Uh, when the British came in, there was a lady called Mrs. Wright. This lady was working in the British Army on the depot as an administrator. She was hired by the Gambia government to train somebody to be an administrator and also a record keeper. Then she trained me from 1984 to Bam fi baye ko nak atum 1986 man ci la jël nak palace bi nek ami bi thank you mr ja so over the years you grew in rank je jeuf mr ja so da fa noni nu ati don deme rek mon la sam xama bi digi na yoko yes in in on the 30th of june uh, january 5 i was promoted to lance corporal that's the first rank in the army and by the 1st of January 2002, according to your state, captain. I was a captain, yes, yes ma'am. Si were January, I am a fan, si 2002, si a captain. Yes ma'am. Wow. And according to your statement, you attended certain courses as well to improve yourself. Is that correct? Yes, I went to Nigeria in 1997 and uh, 2001 in Ivory uh, 2000, uh, 2000, 2001. 2001, uh, Chiladem Ivory Coast. Then 2018, I went to Mali. 2018, Madam Mali. Thank you for giving us your background. And from your indication, it shows that you are well grounded in the military service. Yes, ma'am. Well, can you continue to tell this commission if anything happened in 2006? Yes, something happens on the 22nd of March 2006. Well, I'm not very much at 2006. Early hours at about three thirty in the morning. Chair Fajar Gibamo Har Jamano Yeti Watu at Genawa let you suba tail. I was sleeping and I heard my daughter shouting Papa Papa. Mangon Mangon Nello de Why Made the next Madon Jigin the Osma to Nana Papa Papa. There are people who jumped into the compound. I'm not your hamne day to play nyai to get beer king. Then I Went to the sitting room and opened the window. I saw the soldiers. Magis I soldier. And I asked them why, why, what were they doing in my house, especially jumping into the compound? Manele lole ndi ushuma kero soto na gem nyai tu gachi bir kero. Mr. Ja, can you tell the commission how many you saw jump into your compound? Mr. Ja, nda munga wa commission. Yo nyata soldier nga gis mi nyai tu duga sabi kero. What I can remember, I think I saw three, but afterwards I discovered the rest were in the vehicle at the gate. 
Then I was having my pistol inside the house. With my mobile. Then I was told by one of the soldiers that the mobile was not necessary to be taken. Can you explain to this commission why you had a pistol in your possession? Yes, as a, as an, as a senior officer in the army, Gambia and for is normal for to be armed. So if you can, you are going to come home. Ne, kilifanga, you bunti soldari Gambia fini. Jado na na purunga i ganayo. Up to now, even presently, I have a pistol in my house. Benjamin Ojiye matolo ni sa mangi ame fetel sumani. Thank you for clarifying that it's in your house. As I asked you yesterday, that I hope you did not bring it along with you. Yeah, Jeff. So you know when I am going to buy a ticket, come on, let's get them. Come on, let's get them. When I am going to buy a ticket, we take a car on a new local one. You may continue to tell us after what happened. We will continue. We will not know how to follow the journey. Now they went further to say that yes, they were told to take along the pistol. Eh, chile ndalde wahnat na dalian wahne nenyo buale suma fetelbi. Then I gave them the pistol, put my mobile down, and gave it to my wife, and then went out and told them, I'm going, because they said Langton Mont sent them to come and collect me from my house. Can you tell the commission what happened after that? I boarded the vehicle. And uh, they drove from my house because from my house to the main road is about 800 meters. And when we read the highway, ah, chila dalde bu gona chibir motobi digan te suma neg at becha taliba talo na chijuro mnye tofuki meter. Ah, chila dalde dem na be eke ko taliba. When we reach around um, the insurance institute in Kololi, when ege ya fanga hamne fufu insurance institute bane kache Kololi. Moving towards forward the former West Coast Manjai Kunda. Mudem jub luje na ke fanga hamne West Coast Radio ba fala ne kon chama Manjai Kunda. That was the time they told me that Lang Tombo say the legend to go to mile two. Che jamano juo juna chile ni madora wa hne Lang Tombo mune ne mayo bu mile two. At this point, had they indicated to you an offence that you had committed? Si jamano bu nda wa hne ni layo jegi satra luwa inga haman luunga def nda yegal ne ni lakwa. No, did not say anything. Therefore, you may continue. 
At this point, did you recognize any of the officers that transported you from your house to my two central prisons? No, I did not recognize any of them, and the reason was I threw out my service. I have been working at the headquarters. Up to today, I work at the headquarters. Most likely, soldiers will know us as officers, but it's always sometimes you don't know the soldiers who are in the battalions. Can you tell the commission who received you when you arrived at mile 2? I don't know the commission. I don't know the commission. Who did you go to mile 2? By then, I did not know any of the prison officers. I know officers were there. I know the officers were there. I know the officers were there. I know the officers were there. Do you know who was the DJ then? The DJ was David Kohli. David Kohli was the director general. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you arrived at mile 2. Then when I reached at the gate lodge, I was looking at the gate lodge. They told me to give them all my personal belongings, my belt, my watch, uh, my bangle, and those personal properties. And they put it on record. It was recorded. And then I was marched from the gate lodge to confinement. confinement. Mr. Witness, it is correct to say that you were strip searched before you were taken to a cell. Ah, sir, me. The phone number you must now have is you. Come then, let me. Bagasi nga mantena let me lulu nga ame on. Then you go get ne CEO. Yes, ma'am. Well, tell this commission which cell you were taken to. Wah, wah, al commission be you. Si ban kasole ni you go on. They took me straight to number five at the center row. Is that at the security wing? The central prisons? The security wing? Yes, ma. Wow. Tell us the procedure that was met on you when you actually got to the cell. When you see anam binga hamande nolen le yobe si sa cell binga hamande fufungan fufulen le dugal. When I was taken to the middle row and they opened the cell and they put me in, and they brought a chamber pot. That was the first time I saw a pot called chamber pot. In the pot is sambur. Bo mo njelbe ni yona magis fasoni pot. Bo bo di pot is sambur. Can you describe the pot for the commission? Nah munga wa pot is sambur bo bo nakalamel. This spot is just like this. It's an old my Armanti Mayonnaise spot, the big one. See Mayonnaise Armanti, but not big, but not get lanak. And they put a bottle of water there. You know, they put a bottle in there. And that was all in the room. The red money contributed to Elba. There was no bedding. There was no mosquito net. There was no bed seat. There was absolutely nothing. Amut darab, amut badja, amut dar, amut sanke. Up to this point, were you given any explanation why you were being put in a cell? Basi jamo nugu bumi. Nda huwa nengla wala nita li nengla luta. Ni indi la si palas bumi. Duga la si kaso bumi. No, no. They did. Wahun nako. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you entered the cell. Continue to tell the commission. Si jamo nugu bingan hamantel singa duga si kaso bumi. Lu hew. When I entered the cell, they looked the... What I said, they put this pot and the bottle of water, and that was all. They locked the door until they break. 
I was called, somebody came and opened the door. That let me go out with him to the entrance of number five. Was that person an officer of the prison? Yes, ma. Wow. Do you by any chance remember the name of the person? No, ma. Do you do Continue to tell the commission what happened next. At the entrance, they have there's a table with a chair, and you always have an officer who man the chair. They have a minister there. Table, there's a table and a table. Now my name was entered that I was out, going out. But before they start writing, they were this jungle of black black who came in. And they were Can you tell this commission how many of them you saw that day? Can you further explain to the commission how they were dressed? Well, wearing this black black all over, that was the first time after being in the army for a long time. That was the first time I saw those black uniforms. That we can be anywhere with the black uniform. Ah, uh, we saw on that day. Yep, yep, a new one. The Hamza Bob Moi Jelbe New York, Madora Hamne. We just saw the Salvador. I'm not sure how many they saw. What's the new uniform? The new one. Were their faces covered? Nothing can be done. Come on, run. No, they did not. They did. Run is not coming. So it is correct that you're telling this commission that they came to receive you. Yes, ma. Well, can you tell us what happened next after they took you? Now, when I left the confinement per perimeter, I went to the vehicle. The vehicle was parked uh, at the office that was the office inside the prison because by then that was their head office. Can you better explain when you say their office? Who are you referring to? The office of the commissioner, the director general of prison, and his staff. So you're telling this commission. Normally, you would be taken out from the security wing. And you shall be taken to the office of the DG, then David Coley. And in your instance, where the junglers were allowed to enter and take you out of the prison premises. I did not go went to the office of the director general, but the vehicle was parked at the office, at the entrance of the office, at the where they parked the vehicle. Do you know what you do office body? Why not to bring my own you, but I'm going to go to the office of the vehicle. Thank you for that clarification. Yes, yes, yes. So then you were put in the vehicle. Yes, you do that. Can you describe the vehicle to this commission? Yes, I can tell you. The vehicle was a black Land Rover. It's as black as their uniform. Continue to tell us what happened after you were put in the vehicle. It was a double cabin Land Rover. Land Rover And the driver was in. I did not know the driver. Driver, how But the one. Ismail Jami. 
Why can't talk to Kana Moyon Ismaila Jamme? And the two Tungulas who were behind was Malik Sanyang, Mal Malik Jata, and the other one I did not recognize him. Yenenya now Kenaki Malik Jata la why not Nyare Baba Munako Hame. Because a small incident happened before Mile Two. But when we went to the vehicle, the Maligata came out, down. But Malik was sitting behind with another jungula. Ismaila was sitting in front and the driver. Ismaila driver bi. Then Malik told me to get into the vehicle. And I sat between Malik and the other jungle at the back. Then before they move, Malik was asking me questions. And then I said, Why are you asking me questions? Why did you Malik me questions? So why did you involve yourself in this? You know that everybody was me. I can fully remember those words. And then he was so drunk. That he could not even barely stand. Then he just pulled his pistol from the pistol rack. And he held the pistol from the muscle and then he wanted to hit me with the then Ismaila hit his hand. Then when the pistol was dropping down, the edge of the butt scratched my head, a small scratch scratch. Mr. Jack, just to be clear, you had initially said that the said Ismaila Jami was sitting in the front. Mr. Jack. Can you explain to the commission how he was able to hit the hand of Malik Jata? Yes, the vehicle was parked. The vehicle did not move yet. And Ismail entered. And Malik so entered and locked the door. And before Ismaila gave order for the driver to move, Ismaila did There was time this incident happened. And when Ismaila saw that the Mali was trying to remove his pistol, then Ismaila turned back. Then Ismaila did say that Mali can get again a fatal and betrayal that the old batiku. Then when he saw that Mali was losing his hand, then he said that Mali can get a fatal harm. Then he hit the hand and the pistol fell down. Chila door la harm be na fatal be down. And Ismail asking, why do you want to hit this man? Whatever, what have have he done to you? Ismail at Chila like Mali can get out and go buga kudo la 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 def. You know that this man has been helping a lot of people in the army. You know that. Yeah, they have done a key. Min you bury the dimbele chiva li soldier. You only mon fatal e kunako. That's why I was I I was very grateful to to Ismail Jamme. Without his intervention, maybe Malik was going to hit me. And then that stops, then we move. If I may just take you back a bit before you moved. You've informed the commission that you sustained an injury. Can you further in detail tell us what type of injury you sustained? Yes, uh, definitely to be frank, it was not a very serious injury because it just it was just a small tear on my skin because I always bob my hair. Uh, did you need any medical treatment for that said injury? Now what happens when that happens, it did not stop me from going to NIA. Uh, they were able to... I don't know whether it was a rat, but Ismaila took something just to clean. He was very sympathetic to me. 
Osmaelana kuma yere mon la tila dal di jel bena o sadar dal di fompa ganyu bay. So it is correct that there was blood from the injury. Nous n'avons pas comme si nous avions eu un peu de temps. Nous n'avons pas eu de temps. Oui, nous n'avons pas eu de temps. Et despite that fact, il était encore transporté à NIA headquarters. Et si vous avez eu le temps, nous allons continuer à vous donner à NIA. C'est ce que vous avez eu. Oui, ma. Oui. Can you continue to tell the commission what happened next when you got to NIA headquarters in Banjo? Okay, I just want to conclude this uh, problem of um, the blood. Then when I came back, uh, I was given some little treatment by putting ink, and that was once, and it dried off, and that was the end. You're just trying to explain to the commission that after your encounter in NIA, okay, upon your return at Mali, to Central Prisons, you were not given any treatment. Upon your return at Mali to Central Prisons, you were not given any treatment. You were attended for the injury that you sustained. Yes, ma. Well, can yes. we now go back to the encounter you faced when you got to NIA headquarters? Yes, I was taken to NIA. Well, by NIA. And we entered the, peri uh, the complex of the NIA, the former GPMB. I think that was my second time. First one was, I went there for an official duties. The second time was the one they took me there. And when I went, I was escorted directly to the conference room upstairs. Let me take you back a bit. When you got to NIA headquarters, were you at any time dropped at the gate and registered? I cannot remember. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. But you've just told this commission that what you remember is you were taken directly upstairs, upstairs. in an office. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. 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 Maybe they registered or may not, but I cannot remember. Up to this point, had anybody informed you why you were arrested, why you spent the night at Malta Central Prisons and now being transported to NIA headquarters? Nobody except what I told you what Malik says. That was the time I knew. Uh, when, when Malik said yes, why do I have to involve myself in this? That was the time I knew that that was the reason why I was in my too. Mandar ken wahku mandar hana jaman yang jengah mana malik cila mana yo lutah hingga dugaal sabab pecili cila dora hamsah neli nak bon mautah nyuma ini mal tu. Can you now tell this commission what happened when you were taken to the room upstairs in the mal tu in the NIA headquarters? Ini dah munga wa commission ni. Si jaman obinga haman tena ayam ni le si kau NIA fufu si kau ni dugaal la si beri nik bi la mau fahew. When I went to the conference room, it's a very long table. There was a, there was a very long table round, surrounded by so many people. conference room, table Can you tell the commission how many people there were in the room? commission. I couldn't count the figure, but I'm sure it's more than 20 people. Were these people officials of the state? 
Yes, ma. Well, at that point, did you recognize any of them? Yes. <clears throat> if you enter the conference room, the table is just like this table, and uh, it was surrounded everywhere except this side. Now, on this side, Langtombo was sitting, and next to him, Usman Sonko was sitting. At this point, what position was Langtombo holding in the army? Si jamono bini wa Langtombo mumban mahamala amon si bunti soldat. Maybe he was the acting because he was next to Duchan, and then when Duchan went, maybe he was acting. I don't know whether they gave him the rank. He was appointed, but he was the most senior in the Amphus. How many of you have been to Palace before? That is, who did the one soldier in Duchan? Who was the one who was the most senior? Who was the one who did the job? That is, who did the one who was the most senior? You also mentioned an Usman Sanko. Who did the one who was the most senior? Can you tell the commission what position he was holding? Usman Sonko was the Minister of Interior. Usman Sonko, more one minister Can you name any other person who was in the room? The other two people I know where one was for the body was there within the panelists. And Alaji Martin was standing. He was not sitting. But he was standing on the other edge of the table. Just yeah, like yeah. standing on, on top of, uh, standing facing the accused, the chair they put for the past interview. Martin was next standing there in camouflage uniform. Yeah, you know for how many? Can I keep for the barrel? I'm on my way to continue to. Why, Alaji Martin, the move for one way, mom, the fact how team King Ahmed Mohamed John Light, the soldier, uniform is soldier in your camouflage. Do you know the position that this said Fodebari was holding at that time? The hunger Fodebari being our one, Mom Bama Hamala Amewan, Si Jamana Bobo. No, I don't know. Fode, I know him because we live not far away from each other. He lives in Sanjaba, I live in Koroli. We are almost neighbors. That's why when I saw him, I know that Fode was there, but I don't know what position he held, he was holding in, in, in the NIA. Did it? Fodebari, no? Jamano juu juu hama ban mahama la yarawan. Waifu de barine kana kwa hamne dama haman tag mom. Basundi kwa i sorry wante ul. Mana ngide kaka loli, mama mugi de kaka sancha ba. No no la kwa hamne waifu mama wana jamano juu juu ban mahama la yarawan. Did you know him as an NIA agent? Bahamu kwa kama mnit lakini haman tena fa liga el NIA. Yes, he was working for NIA. Wow, mungu liga el NIA. So you were correct to say that at that point he was an NIA agent. When you say agent, I, I did not understand. I don't, I don't understand what you mean by agent. Whether he was an agent or he was a permanent staff of the of the institution or what? Can you please? To make you understand better, would it be correct to say that he was an official of the NIA? Yes. Yes, he was a senior, he was a senior officer of the NIA. Well, the Hamza Kili fellow won the NIA. It would be obvious because then that would give him the status quo to be able to be in that said panel interview. Well, lo lo kanya pamne lo lo muna am kum lo mo tahon tamit muna na talk for funo ni sijota ibinga niyakon ak agi kili fa inga manyo fa niyakon. You alright, ma? Can you tell us the position that Alaji Martin was holding? Alaji Martin, Mumban Mahamala Amewan. Alaji Martin, by then he was a lieutenant. Alaji Martin, German Rejoji, Lieutenant Lawan. And he was posted at the State Guard. Tamam Nuko Yobun, Chafun Hamne Nyodi Garde, Chikir Gumaki, Kiri President. So at this point he was attached to State House. Because German Obi, the former one in Mom, Mumdon Ligay, Chikir Gur. As he was posted there, not even attached. He was posted, he was a member of the state guard. Mom Falani Kondiligi, the Fabok continuing a Hamlin, you don't guard the Kilifa, Nitty Rumi. Continue to tell the commission what happened when you faced the panel. Continue to warn you, see Jamano Binga Hamantan, Tim Ganina Hamantan, Kilifa Yinga Hamantan, you allow a latch. And when I went, I saw one or two, one asked, I don't know the person who asked the question, for me to explain what I know about the Nducham coup. Amna chikena na kama kanla chida wai kuku mwa malengi kala 
ne na len wax lan la xam ci mbiri coup d'etat ndour changi then uh, i told him that i'm a staff of the headquarters ci la len ne man de man ma ngay liggey ci fa nga xamne moy makkan bu mag bi and uh, if you are staff of the headquarters you interact with the city especially me as the director of records of the angambe and forces te sone ke fofu na fo ngay joko ak njiti soldat yi muy cds bi ndax te bobu man ma nekkon clap bu mag bi and i'm still the director of records of the army te ben tay man my director of records si soldat yi fofu then i went there there was a day i cannot remember the day but there was a day i went to the office for official uh, matters am na bes bo xamne nak munu ma fatale ko ci yen bes la waye dama demon pour li fa liggey can you clarify the office that you're referring to da mo nga gëna leral yo ban office nga nekk di wanni i went to the office of the cds dama dem ci office cds moy ki jité soldat yépp ko asa daro rek tay comme comme man may direct records man may jëflanté ak yi nga xamné yépp mo aju ci ñu bindé yépp ci mbiri am so bama ege ci office bana mom ñep min nañ lolu ci ndur cham jamono bu ci nek rek daf de wax lu aju ci mbiri ngor gi ñep xame nañ ko ko whether he was serious or was joke joking uh, it was a matter of time ndax nak daf ko fu la lon wala daf doon xaf lolu dafa desson rek ci waxtu wi kan la but it was just common that ndur cham will sit one or two with one or two officers and say yes i will i will remove ya jamme because of what x y z is not a good man he is leading the muslim the country so many things as legay leg nak sa yo deme ci mom rek dina la wax ne man mi ma fe genn ci ya jamme ndax te li la def le la def nek ku nit ku ba ak yu bari bari dal can you tell the commission on that particular day you went to his office what conversation he had with you ndax mu nga wax commission bi ci bes bobu nonu nga xamantene ci nga dem ci office sam le yoy ak mom lan ngeen waxtane won I went there to check a file after checking the file I before I went out he start he told me that yes me I'm serious because I have to get this man out of those people are tired the way he's ruling the country I will get him out dama demon nay ba man dañ yo bo file bi ci la ma dal di wax ne ma wa man nak lima wax ni ci xanu ma ci de man mi ma fe genn ci yaaya jamme ndax te ni mo jité rew mi dal du yon I am glad that you're not using the words that he actually used that day kon dan na de yo wax lo kaddu bi nga xamantene mom lo la waxon ci bes bobu non okay you stated in your statement and i will note it for the commission later li nga wax ci ci kaddu yi nga xamantene lu lañ binda dina ko wax commission bi ci kanam because we have children who are watching this program and cannot hear certain words being said ci jamono bi am nañ ay ndaw ñi nga xamantene ñu ngi setan a commission bi te rafetu profession kaddu yoy non ñu joge ci commission bi fi and to continue ni gi ñu continuer you tell us your response to him during that conversation yo legi sa tontu lañ bu ga dega ci jamono bi nga xamantene bum la waxe lolu and he asked me whether i was interested i told him that sir i am not ci la man lal di laaj nak ndax bu gana ci bokka mané ko ah man de dedi bu ma bokka and the reason why i said that was even the 94 crew people who were informed some opted to be jo- to join some opted not so ki se mo ko lol nak ku de tan ak 1994 ba moy ku de taya jamme bobu amon nañu xamne bugo nañu bokka am ni bugu to na bokka at this point did you take do cham seriously ci waxtu bobu non ndax du tam ndu cham lu ndo wax non yo digal nga ko wala fulal nga ko this is why i even told du tam that yes no i no good for do i never thought that he was very serious of what he says bo gisé nak mané ko dédé duma ci bokka euh dama fogon né mom dafa tiaxam rek fu la lu lim doon wax because uh, he has been saying such a thing not even the military but even civilians if gambians are honest to come out and say yes new time told me that he was going to remove ya jami i can say it confidently euh du soldat gi rek nga xamné sax ay civil lañ euh ñu ngi ñoo taxaw sax ñu ne waaw man ndur ca waxon na man dina fi mu sa génné ya jami 
Now, when he says that, I thought it was this just normal, normal saying. Well, that was just very common. And also, so many people were discussing about the, the way the agenda was on in the Gambia. Continue to tell the Commission what happened next after you told him you were not interested in joining the members who were going to carry out the coup. Continue to tell the Commission what happened next after you told him you were not then I went out from my, after a joke, we discussed, we are very used to each other. Although, although he was serious, but he was very down to earth to, to every member of the armed forces, to my own knowledge. Can you now tell the Commission what happened after you informed the panel that you had responded that you were not interested? That's, that's what I told them when I told them one or two were insisting here, yeah, you have to tell us, it's not only this you know. I say you will kill me, but I cannot say something that I don't know. Why don't I let them to? Damale no one. Do not come to my head. I'm not going to bug you, my boka. Why am I not going to ask you? You have no one to manage. What are you doing? I'm not going to hammer you. I'm not letting you go. Do you remember the names of the two who insisted? I'm not going to turn you. I'm not going to let you go. Don't come to my house. 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 No, I don't know them, but I have seen. Whilst I was sitting, I have seen Lantern Bong taking a small paper, uh, wrote something, and give it to the person who was questioning, who, who was asking. I saw that with my eyes. How my what he wrote there, I don't know. How my Why this now Lantern Bong? I'm sure Papa Mujel Ben Kaid Bundao, Dal Dichi Binda Dara, Jok Kokinga Hamne Mordon Wahaman Moon. Lamcha Binda Nak Mom How Mako. Continue tell the commission what happened next. Continue in our commission, be little help. Then after few minutes they knew that I was not going to be ready to say anything more than what I said. Then they took me to a small room out of the conference room for me to go and write exactly what I said. So you're telling this commission that at this point your statement was taken? Yes, uh, they, I wrote it for myself. Wow. And that was just a three-quarter of the A4 paper, not even a full A4 paper. And if you see the records of the proceedings of the court marshal, if you see, you see my statement. Exactly what I say, no different. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you gave them your statement. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you gave them your statement. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you gave them your statement. Continue to tell the commission what happened after you gave them your statement. You went back to the conference room. You went back to the conference room. They read what I wrote. Then they told me to get up. Then I was escorted back to the vehicle. Then I was escorted back to the vehicle. You back to mile two. Who took you back to mile two? The same The same jungles. The same team. It's Malik Jami, Malik Jata, and the other the driver and the other jungle. Tell the commission what happened when you returned to mile two. Well, commission, then more help. Bring it there, long mile two. When I went to mile two, I was taken back to my cell, and that was the end. Bama, there, long mile two. Now we've got the man who got out just from my cell, but for full M. That was the end of me going to NIA. Chala, muge dem na NIA. Now we were there from March. Uh, sorry, I want to. S so we are there on for March, but unfortunately, um, uh, on the 26th, early hours of 26th March 2006. Uh, the best thing I've ever done, very much, at 2006. 
early hours of two, two and, uh, to early hours of two, uh, 26 March, 2 and 6. I think it should be between 2 or 3. Yeah, I think it should be between 2 or 3. I 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 was sleeping, I heard a lot of noise, shouting. I was sleeping, I heard a lot of noise, shouting. And I heard Omar Koli call Jagai, calling names. I heard Omar Koli call Jagai, calling names. I heard Omar Koli call Jagai, calling names. You just hear, where is the Bamarana? When they say where's Dava Marena, I had Komal Koli telling that giving them the cell number. Where's Alu uh, Ibulo? Where is Alu Sise? And they named them. This was between two and three. And everybody who was in mile two was panicked because you never knew whether they were going to call your name. Then I, I, when I just jumped from the bed, I stood at the, at the door. There is a small opening about 50, 15 centimeters square. And soldiers, these junglers in black, black, they were everywhere moving around. I never want them to see me because I had to take a little cover in the dark so that they will not see that I'm looking at them. Did you recognize any of them? No, I did not. The only one I know it was Omar Koli who was in mile two. And he was the one who knew everywhere people, who, who knew all the cells. What position was this set Omar Koli holding? Omar Koli B. By then, Jagai, Omar Koli was a W2, he was a warrant officer class 2. Jagai, Omar Koli, warrant officer class 2. Who stayed at the state house? Mom state house, then you go and will again. But what brought in, in mile two, I cannot tell. Why not? Liko in the mile two, mom, Munumakoa. But he was just like the most important and the most powerful person in mile two. Mom, not the family, the more na am solo, the more gen, na am dole for fifty mile two. You're telling this commission that he had some sort of authority in mile two central prisons. The Nabuga one, the common, the Fanega Kunama, the Ankadu, for fifty mile two. Absolute authority. Wow, wow, I'm on the Fakad, Prosa. Continue to tell the commission the night that the junglers came and caused confusion. Continue to warn you. See, good evening, how many times the junglers see you on Charlie Barimon? I heard they they call when they call Marena. Kuli said Marena is in row one, and he mentioned the cell number. But when they get you know Marena, Kuli now let Marena move to room one. They'll drain to the cell. Banga ham ne falaneka. Row, row, row. Row, banga ham ne falaneka. And then they when they come call. Uh, Ibulo and uh, Alpha, but they were next, next, next to me, just a cell before, after me. When Oye Ibulo Alpha, ba, nyom nyom sen cell with a faden do aksumabos. And when they were removing Ibulo from his cell and Alpha, ba, I was peeping in that small hole. But I had to take cover inside because maybe I was afraid that if they see me, they they may react. But my name was not called. But I was not sure also whether I'll be called. Banyo gene ibulo alfa babu mangu lakho na kwa bubu mo ni gisma bubu mo ni o ma jamu ni jiji sa oru masaha na mantem dini na o. Now they also call Alusisa was behind and they also call Alusisa. Alusisa mo mungu cha gana wai oning kwa mantem. Then those who were removed, I saw ibulo with my eyes. Chile ni gene wai ibulo mo mantem gisna kwa jaharan atuma but. Is it correct to say that these individuals named were at that point also detained at mile two central prisons in the security wing? No, 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 no. We don't have to worry about the city center. We don't have to worry about the city center. We don't have to worry about the mile two security wing. Yes, those people are also detained just like us because they are also allowed to be part of the Mujam saga. Well, we don't have to worry about the people who are in the city center. We don't have to worry about the people who are in the city center. And you're telling the commission that they were also removed by the junglers from the military central prisons? Yes, I'm going to talk to the commission. We don't have to worry about the people who are in the city center. Absolutely. Wow. Did you see them again? 
From that day, we never saw them. I never saw them again until we heard on the radio that uh, announced by the Minister of Interior, Usman Sonko, that they were being transported to Makati and they escaped. At this point, how long had you been detained at Mile 2 Central Prison? It was barely four days because I went there 22nd, 23rd. Tuesday night, early Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, early morning of Sunday. Really four days or five days. No, 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 no are you sure that you want to tell this commission that it was like living in your home? No, not as comfortable as my house, but uh, they, they just dumped me in the cell and that was the end. That's cell of, um, of empty bare floor and uh, with chamber pot and a bottle of water. We were, I was there in that cell uh, for almost a month or two before I was given a mattress. And when they give mattress, they were not even giving us mosquito net. what do normally what do I normally do was to find from the guys who were there before us. Then do they will find you and give you a piece of two pieces of mosquito net that will place in the front hole and the back hole of the cell. And we use the, the part they cook in the morning, that's what we use as a glue. I was actually going to ask you to tell the commission the food condition so you may continue. Before I go to the food, I want to finish up the the conditions that we went through the first six months. Because from the day I went to mile two on the twenty early hours of twenty second of March two thousand six. Up to six months, I have never been given rest to have sunlight. The morning they come, in the morning, early in the morning, open you to go and take bath, and when you are taking bath, a security police prison officer will be standing outside waiting for you. When you take your bath and then you throw your chamber pot, you clean up yourself and you get back to the cell until 7 or 6 in the evening before you are open again. And you're telling this commission that went on for six months? Absolutely six months before we were able to be given us. Were you able to communicate with your family? 
Yes, well, the, 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 the six months is about the, the non-granting of rest. And they said that was just normal for them. That was the welcoming uh, attitude of a, of a detainee or a prisoner. And the prison officers are there, they are hearing me. But when we stayed for three months, it was up to May. That was the first day we were taken to the High Court in a, on a Friday evening after around 5 o'clock. You're telling this commission, and you work commission me, that you and the other detainees allegedly accused in this coup plot by Nur Cham. Were taken to a court. At 5 o'clock on a Friday. Yes, Can you tell the commission who you found at the court? When we went to the court, we were attended by one judge they call Munyagen, I think it's from Namibia. But she was, she was a commonwealth judge. When we went to the court, we were attended by one judge they call Munyagen. And uh, they make all their legal uh, presentations. And the case was adjourned for another date. At this point, were you served with any charges? What they did was, when they took all of us, I think by then they don't separate the... The, 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 they did not separate the group. Uh, and what they did was they went and the first day we appeared at court, they charged all of us for treason. Which I believe it was a holding charge. Were you physically served a charge? Ndahio, then you let Joh, Linga Hamantan, Lunin let Tuma, Tunin Lakosi Kait, Walana. The first charges of treason was not given to me. At this point, did you have any legal representation? Sijamonobi, Nda Angle Ken Kinga Hamantan, and Mungla Tahawalan, come lawyer. During that first appearance that Friday, when my our families knew heard that we were going to court, I don't know how they knew. They came to Banjul at the High Court. Now, after the adjournment, uh, we were not given chance to talk to them. But. Uh, they, my family knew that I wasn't having a lawyer. Then uh, my wife, my second wife, was sitting here. Uh, and uh, she was with my first wife, who is a teacher. I think through discussion at school, they knew somebody knew Lamin Kamara. And then the link, they linked them to Lamin Kamara. So it is correct to say that on your first appearance, you were not legally represented. Yes, ma'am. Wow. And the matter was adjourned. Yes, ma'am. Eventually, you got a lawyer. Yes, ma. I got a lawyer, and they went and discussed with my camera. Wow, she ran the lady and walked on at Lamin Camara, my am lawyer. And Lamin Camara charged them, I think, more than 
namin kamara fornalim len la jon wessu won na sa temer ak ñaar fukki junne juro di end up agreeing on 100000 dollars fokna liñ ñu jël d'accord dal moy won temer junne dollars so can you tell us when you after the case was adjourned what happened next legi na mom na ñu wa jamono bi nga xamanté doxal nañ sen a case bi lan mo xewati after when we secured the lawyer the services of lamin kamara then the second adjournment to this judge uh, mujagin we appear at the high court again gannaaw bu bu amé nak lamin kamara pour mu téewal ma nek suma lawyer ñaarel won ba nak ci lañ dem ka nekkon atté kat ba nak moy won mujagin i can't remember the date when we went back ñu ma fatale ko bes bañ fa délo nak during that second appearance they now change the charges into two groups way nak ca ñaarel ba nak bañ démé ci atté kay bi liñ ma tuma lon ñu def ko ñaari haaj now what they did was they charge us uh, we are about six in number concealment and the rest we are charged treason ñun juroom mbenn la won ñeen na ñu wax ne dañ ko yek ba pare nubba ko ñeneen ñe nak ñoom ñu wax ne ñoom dañ bokkon ci mbir yi so at this point your charge was changed from treason to concealment kon legi ci jamono bi dafa nooni dañ wecci luñu la tuma lam dudé ko né comme da nga bugga daané nguur legi ñu wax né comme da nga xamné ñu ngi bugga daano nguur way nga nubba ko Yes, wow. Can you continue to tell the commission what happened next? Yes, we continue to tell the commission to the court can go ahead. The people have been detained for a long time and that was not fair. Ban nga me nak yakarlo mu jegen ma nge fatale ko xon nañ ni fi mu nek dal nañ woné ay firnde yu wër ndax te dem ak ñoo bi dal ñu ngi bu ñoom ñu fi bu ba yaga fam nek ni Now suddenly I think later on mu jegen the reason why he left the cause whether it was removed from her or whether she excused herself but mu jegen was out of the case Ganaaw bi nak mu jegen mom ñu génné ko ci atté card bi Now the short appearance the uh, I even forgot about the name it was yesterday when I had was uh, I could remember about that Ghanaian judge Eh mu jege nak mom bam ci genné xaw ba mo ci genné bo pa wala dañ ko ci genné ñettel yoon ba nak ci lañ jaldi dem ci atté kay bo xamné mom wa gaana la dama ko faté won sax wa dem ba bima dégué wa sa wax ko ci lu subhanahu wa ta'ala And we appeared at, uh, that with that Ghanaian uh, judge and uh, it's a lady ban ngay nak ci atté card bobu mom jigen la te wa gaana la then uh, she adjourned the case again because yeah. that was the first time he appear to her mo dal diko adja ndax te bobu nak moy jël ben yoon ñu tew ci kanam then uh, she told them to produce the evidence so that they can go ahead with the court ci la len wax ne nak nañ woné firnde bu set ce que defé mom mo nga jël atté bi then we went back to my two and uh, we are waiting to be given date to mm. go to the high court ñu ngi xaar nak ñu jox ñu bes ñu dem ci atté kay bu mag bi but something happens to to the team that we are charged with concealment way dal xamna lu xew dal ci kurel bi nga xamne ñoon liñ leen tumal moy dañ ko yegg diko nubba can you tell this commission the names of the persons who were now charged with concealment of treason legi ndax mu nga ñoo wax tur ni nga xamante ni ñu leen tumal ni comme xam leen ni daane ngor mu ngi waja xew te ñu ma bako yes myself wa man ci suma bopa permendi he was a captain captain permendi lieutenant modou aliouba who was later uh, pardon and appointed minister of interior left la mo ali ba ngam na ga na dañ ko jégal def ko ministère bi saytu karangi bi rew mi let cobra samba ba samba ba me his soul rest in peace dem ci yalla cobra samba ba yalla nako yalla yerim he passed away immediately when we are released after 30 days mom dal biñ ñu baye da fa wéri fa la ci tek rek mu dal di ñaka ba kanam lance cobra babu jangha lance cobra babu jangha private alaji ñing private alaji ñing we were the soldiers who were charged for concealment ñun juroom benn soldat yi lañ waxon na ñoko yekte waxul ko thank you mr witness we'll take a break at this point and when we come back you will continue your story jeu 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 de bi ñu tollu ñu dem no palé ñu ñëw ñu continuer uh thank you kanzo we'll take a coffee break and come back at um, 12:05 pm thank you meetings adjourned